Hey, this is Shivani Patel with Go Engineer. I want to go over two common problems I've seen users run into at the drawing level. The first has to do with external references, and the second is a custom properties for configurations issue. So let's start with the first issue, the external referencing. First I'll start a blank drawing sheet. Now this is an issue that occurs only when pulling views from the view palette, so I'll pull my first view from here. Now. Going in and looking at my external references, I see that this iPhone case is my only reference. Now I want to include the iPhone that goes into this case in the drawing view as well, which I can get to using the browse function in the view palette. Now this is where I've created my potential problem. And after inserting this view in, let's go and see that my external references have updated as we would expect. But now I'm going to change my mind and say I don't want this iPhone in my views, and I actually just want to remove it from my drawing sheet. But if I go to my external references, I'll find that the iPhone is still referenced. Now this can be a problem when users check in files to file management systems like EPDM. So to fix this, we need to clear the contents of the view palette, let it refresh itself, and this is going to fix the external references issue. So the second issue we're looking at here is the custom properties that change between configurations. Now I'm going to show it using materials. So I've set up two separate iPhone cases. One's going to be ABS plastic. The second is going to be aluminum. And I'm going to set it up as a common aluminum like 2024. So what I have here is a gray aluminum case and a red ABS plastic case. Let's go in and make sure that they have proper materials set up. And they do. So heading back to my drawing sheet, I'll create a duplicate view of the isometric I already have and make the second one the aluminum configuration. Now I'm going to set up a note that's going to read the material from the part file. So I'll do this by creating my note, going to link to property, making sure that the view annotation is attached to the view and pulling material out of the drop-down. Then I'll go ahead and repeat this for the aluminum piece. And we're going to see that instead of pulling in ABS and aluminum, we're pulling in the same material here. Now this is happening because whatever configuration I have active in the part file is getting referenced by this custom material property. As I change the active configuration, you can see that the drawing views update and the material properties change. So to fix this, we're going to need to create a better link inside of this note. So I double click it, going back to link to properties, setting up the same options that I had before. This time, instead of choosing on the drop down, I'm going to go to file properties and choose the third tab here. And the third tab is a configuration specific property. And I can pull material choice from the uh, provided drop down that SOLIDWORKS gives, get the strings I need. Now the materials in this properties drop down has been overridden with the one that is correct with the configuration custom property. Now as I go ahead and repeat this for the aluminum, uh, we're going to see that this process prevents the notes from changing depending on what configuration happens to be active in the part file. So this way the material properties are still linked and properly labeled. So this has been Shivani with Go Engineer. I hope this video has helped you avoid and or fix two of these sneaky drawing problems.